Today we're working on this M113 engine in my C43 AMG. You might be familiar with it from our other videos and the deferred maintenance, but today we are going to be replacing the valve cover gaskets and also the breathers that commonly fail in this engine. I had a feeling that the valve covers were leaking, but I really didn't do anything about it and I wasn't really bothered until my alternator died and when we took it out with the other deferred maintenance it was absolutely covered in oil and upon further inspection it was all over the place and then for the valve cover breathers I noticed that my oil was having a white sheen of what looks like a head gasket failure uh, in the oil and uh, but this is very common for these engines apparently so I was initially really worried about this but after taking the breathers apart they were definitely bad <laughs> <laughs> Still drives! And stops! And it stops! The first thing that I notice, somebody's done this before because uh, those are definitely zip tied on. So, uh, going to get creative with the tabs that the last mechanic broke, getting those off. Alrighty, so far we have pulled off the ignition coils and I've gotten the E10 bolts out. Just one more left back there uh, and then we'll be able to pop this off. Alrighty, so um, this actually doesn't look as bad. There's uh, some gunk in the case and here we go. Here is what the rest of it looks like. All right, so uh, we're taking this back off again. Um, that is very much not a Mercedes Bolt. So um, yeah, we'll be getting new ones. All righty, so we have the uh, valve cover back on the passenger side now. Uh, I had to take it back off for this. And uh, this looks pretty dang clean, and we found a breather hole. Let me see if I can get the light there. There she is, so I uh, stuck a paper clip in that. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit more of this crud off, but I think overall we'll look good. Alrighty, unpacking. Uh, I got the official Mercedes stuff. This is actually only 10 bucks on eBay. Let's see what this uh, looks like. Oh, well, there goes, uh, <laughs> there goes the uh, top. But the cool thing is that this stuff is, um, this is the official Mercedes stuff, and then it comes with a... Um, a nozzle so I can get that two millimeter uh, bead around all of this. Alrighty, so on the uh, driver's side, definitely more difficult just because uh, these were harder to get to, these bolts down here to get these off. Um, just put the um, coil packs to the side and uh, you're supposed to, I know you're supposed to use some plastic, but I was very careful. You can just see a little bit of um, scraping right there, but I did get this off and we'll see what sort of gunk Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like lots of gunk. It's in there. Alrighty, so uh, this was fun, but we finally got this off, and look at that. So, um, yeah, there was a little bit of extra RTV that I already took off some of these holes. Um, I had to disconnect the fuel line, which was actually not that big of a deal, and then I also had to remove uh, one of the spark plug wires and mark that with some tape. So, uh, yeah, this was a lot harder than doing the passenger side, but, um, oh, and, um, yeah, the, there is a breather hose back here that was a royal pain to get off, and this one I can't even get off at all. So I'm just going to uh, leave it on. Alrighty, so we brought out some big guns, a couple different type of degreasers and a nylon brush. And this is looking way better. You can also see in there, you can see the breather holes looking a lot cleaner, which is really, really good. Alrighty, so decided to clean up the valve train. Saw what the other side looked like. This side was not much better. It's looking a lot better now. And look at this, top of the breather casing. Looks fantastic. Alrighty, so I took it out for a couple test drives and things look good. There is a little bit of residue from when the first time I did this and it was leaking. Um, but other than that, now it's really dry. That alternator still looks like it's not getting wet from the oil. So you can see on the passenger side pretty well. On the driver's side, there's not much to see here. 
um, but it is also looking good. A little bit of ooze from the RTV um, shows that got that two millimeter bead in just perfect. Um, this is a job that you can do at home. It does take a while and a lot of patience, but it's not very hard. Under quarantine, you can see that the back of the Mercedes is now kind of a storage shelf, which might make some of you upset. Uh, but the next job for the Mercedes, gosh, uh, it's running a little bit rough. Um, I actually took it through a car wash and started running rough after that. Uh, the check engine light did turn on. Now it's back off automatically on its own. Uh, I think something might have gotten wet in there. And then I honestly think that there's probably just a couple mini vacuum leaks. So uh, that's what's coming up next for the Bad Ideas Garage and the 261,000 mile C43 AMG.